G'day my friends, Marty Ware from Marty's Garden and today we're in six months into these bales. Marty's Garden teaches you how to grow fresh food in urban places and small spaces. And the reason I haven't been showing them too much is because we had the big storm come through and they took ages to grow back and then there was a lot of problems with heat and things like that and then they got overgrown so I just had amaranth growing out of them. I was actually harvesting quite a lot but they weren't doing as much work as I, what I wanted. And just recently, the other day, what I did was is I actually started uh, pulling out a lot of the plants and thinning out in here and giving these new plants a lot more space. The strawberries were getting too shaded and this fella here, which is my giant red mustard, was also getting a bit shaded. And I harvest from him quite a lot, so or her, quite a lot. And this will eventually produce a nice big seed head, so I'll be happy. And I've got little things like amaranth coming up, which they just self-seeded themselves. I threw in a whole lot of coriander seed, and you can see it coming up here, nice and close here, amongst this amaranth. Now, I'll be eating this amaranth as a baby leaf. And yeah, just enjoying that and mixing it with these different herbs and things. Now, something else that's quite exciting was actually this plant here. Now, this plant here, the water spinach here. Now, you can see it's coming through. That actually just self sowed by running across uh, from another pot and then eventually putting it, rooting itself in. And we've got some sweet potato here where I just shoved a sweet potato into the bale and it's come up on its own and eventually as these bales rot down it'll start producing lots and lots of sweet potatoes inside the bale. Now as we move along we'll come around, Karen's on the camera so we'll get her to come around, she'll walk around this way and you can see here my water spinach here this is where it come out and started shooting across and then it actually like threw some roots into the bale. So it'll be interesting to see if that grows through the cooler months. Uh, the cucumbers nearly had it. And going up it, if we go into the sunlight, is a beautiful passion fruit. Now it's probably a bit bright there, the sun, but uh, that got hammered as well in the big storm, but it's come back and it's growing out of this bag here, which is right beside, and the roots would be going through that bag and underneath the bale. You can see the amaranth's fallen over here. In the last video, a couple of videos back, you can see that that actually was quite tall. And there's new little shoots coming up here, which you can see as I've fallen, as it's fallen over and producing little flowers, which is really cool. Now, you could pick those flowers off and eat those, or, you know, and use them in stir fries, or even as a leafy green, because that is still very, very tender. Watch, look. Watch me eat it. Mmm, fine. Now, Karen's in the camera and the sunlight's in the camera, so we'll just move it over a bit. More strawberries going through. Now, if she just squats down a bit with her camera there, I'm directing her on the, on the film. She's doing a great job. These are newer bales, and you can see they're much higher than the other ones. They drop, the other ones have dropped down about this much. And what I've done is I've put on layers and layers of compost and potting mix. And I've actually put down into the bale some pellets, so I pelleted them down and pushed them down with a fork and then put layers over the top and started planting things in there like rocket and I've got my coriander, some strawberries and stuff and if we look here, uh, I just harvested off these, chopped the tops of these peas and used about that much and a big bunch uh, in a stir fry, I find they're really really tasty I really enjoy it so if we come over here, you'll probably go, oh wow this is really different so Karen come in closer with the camera done We've actually got a red papaya growing straight out of this bale here. Look, how cool is that, this red papaya here. And you can see here, we've got more of this water spinach growing, the Asian water spinach, and red vein sorrel. And because it's been so hot, I've been letting this shade, this little lettuce here, growing in here, but it's been too hot. It's 29 degrees today, and which is just too hot for lettuce. So I'm gonna have to actually clear this out and plant the lettuce uh, yet again. All right, so I'm just going to move back around to the end of the bale here and talk about what the plan is to finish up. So if we come, Karen, come down, darling, and get me in the screen there. Can you see the bales in the screen? Yeah. Little, little mushrooms coming up. Look, look. One, two, three. They look like they're really cute, aren't they? Yeah. Well, that means that actually there's, this is live now. 
this is actually turned into a live living system. So in the very beginning, it's actually feeding off what nutrient that you're putting in, so the potting mixes and things like that, until eventually once it starts breaking down, decomposing, uh, the living soil actually becomes alive and the fungi and the microbes and everything start feeding this whole system. And that's really what I want. That's, this is a really great, it's not a surprise, it's something that I ex was expecting and I'm very happy, very, very happy to see. Now you can see that the height differences in these because these are the older bales and these are the new ones. And it's exciting times. But if you're gonna be doing a bale garden and you wanna actually have food really fast, then use the system of uh, throwing in the, uh, the nitrogen, a very high nitrogen plant uh, food source, such as blood and bone or uh, some type of uh, grass fertilizer and just keep wetting it down for about a week. And there's plenty of information online about how to do that. This is a totally different way for growing it. As I said, these are raised garden beds for me. And they're really working because I'm renting and it's a cheap way for me to just keep growing and growing on. If you're new to Marty's Garden or an old subscriber and you haven't clicked the bell button to keep updated on upcoming videos, then what do you got to do, Karen? Make sure you subscribe and click the bell button. Yeah, because the bell button will notify you every time a new video comes out. Is that cool? Yeah. Alright, see you at the next video. Bye for now.